Hi, I'm Val from Gadget Guy, and this is HP's professional level EliteBook X laptop. So I've been using it for a little bit, and it has some really clever technology, some stuff you really want to know about. Stick around, let's take a look. Okay, so here it is. This is HP's EliteBook X. This model is the G1A 14 AI, and that has a set of capabilities and features. Um, it really is your AI-powered business companion, so it really has business-grade capabilities um, and a lot of features and specs, which I'll kind of go through now. Um, starting with the AMD Ryzen AI 7 Pro 360 chip inside of it, so this is a very, very capable processor family, and the 360 model has lots of power. Uh, in addition to that, this one has 32 gigabytes of RAM, although it does go up to 64 in a different model. And for storage, this has a 512 gigabyte PCIe 4 SSD, although you can upgrade that to up to two terabytes. Screen-wise, this is a 14-inch size. It is an OLED screen. It's 2.8K resolution, and it's driven by an AMD Radeon 880M GPU. Uh, so it's got some great capabilities there. In terms of connectors, we have two Thunderbolt 4 USB-C type connectors. There's a USB-A 10 gigabits per second connector. We have Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and one HDMI 2.1 port 2. It's got a really nice silver, aluminum, or aluminum case uh, on the outside. It's quite uh, robust and it feels great. Weight-wise, this is 1.49 kilograms, which is actually pretty good for a, a business class laptop because they really do pack a lot inside as well as fans and cooling mechanisms too. Uh, but otherwise, look, I think it's uh, great to pack up and take with you. You get a five megapixel infrared AI camera. You get quad stereo speakers. There's a 100 watt power charger included in the box. Software wise, this comes with Windows 11 Pro. And on the security front, you get HP's Wolf Security Pro, which is a suite of security tools. Plus there's a fingerprint sensor as well to keep things secure. Well, those are the specs, but maybe now it's time to get down to work. As a content creator, as well as a business owner, what I really love about the HP EliteBook X is that it gives me the versatility that I need. Now, it used to be that I would have a desktop setup for video editing when I'm at home, but I'd have a separate laptop to take out with me. However, the laptop used to not have enough processing power to handle really intensive video editing tasks. So with the EliteBook X, it actually does both jobs at once. So when I come home, I can plug it into my monitor here and have a full editing class setup, and then I can take it out and about with me, and I can actually continue that editing work wherever I am. So when I'm not tethered to my desk, the EliteBook X's Ryzen chip is fantastic because it's one of the most powerful of the AI PC class chipsets. Uh, and it gives you about 55 tops or trillion operations per second. It's got a very powerful neural processing unit. And for my creative tasks, there's actually a lot more AI involved in this than ever before. So for example, I might start creating a video by using something like Copilot to help me do research, help me come up with a draft script. But from there, I would then do some storyboarding and something like Firefly, which is a generative AI system, will help me get a storyboard done much faster than ever before and not even having to use a designer sometimes. And this would actually run on device. Um, so it's quite quick because this processor has a very powerful GPU to keep up with all of that. Next, when I use uh, editing suites, um, DaVinci Resolve, for example, is uh, using a lot of machine learning these days. It has a lot of shortcuts that you can take using machine learning, and this is really handy to get the job done faster. And then when it's all said and done, coming up with some thumbnail concepts is really easy to do, also using generative AI. So really, um, I'm getting a lot of AI capabilities in this device to get me through the day. And that's really what's necessary to just keep up with what I have to accomplish. And when I'm not creating content, I do have a business to run as well. So most of the time I have multiple apps open at the same time. I might be swapping between my accounting packages and my video editing suite into Teams, lots of office apps. And it really all runs well with things open in the background. I mean, you can upgrade from 32 to 64 gigabytes of RAM if you want more, but I actually find that 32 hits the sweet spot for the types of things that I do. Whether it's unplugged or not, I'm actually really impressed with how responsive the software runs on this. So with DaVinci Resolve and 
4K and even 6K video files. It's really quick, it's snappy, and it's great. It's way faster than my old laptop was. When it comes to copying footage, the dual Thunderbolt 4 ports are very fast at about 40 gigabits per second. That also allows me to actually have my media files stored on the external solid state drive while I'm editing in real time, and I couldn't do that before. And it's great also to hand my media over to other editors that way. In addition to that, when I'm connected to my Wi-Fi 7 network at home, I can transfer really large video files very quickly. So it's great to have the most cutting edge version of Wi-Fi available and supported here. The EliteBook X has a fantastic OLED display as well. So this one's 2.8K, but the thing I love about OLED technology over older technologies like on my last laptop is that OLED is really nice. It's got beautiful blacks, uh, great contrast. It looks great for watching movies, but because I'm also creating a lot of video content, I want something that's color accurate and looks its best. Uh, in addition to that, actually with OLED technology, it has a very large viewing angle, meaning that I can have the screen tilted forward or backwards, or even showing footage to people who are looking at it off angle and the image doesn't degrade at all, the colors don't fade or change, and that's really important for me. I can also use the Thunderbolt 4's USB-C port to connect into some external monitors, and there's also HDMI 2.1. Speaking of which, this is 120 hertz, or it supports 120 frames per second, in case I wanna do a bit of fast action gaming on my downtime. I really like that this comes with HP's Wolf Security Pro. So this is an internet security suite, but it's, you know, business class. And it just means I have extra peace of mind because it will protect everything that's on here uh, from things like malware, it has threat containment, and it'll stop things like phishing and ransomware attacks. And it really is just another way of keeping an eye on things to make sure that they're safe. With the AMD Ryzen AI7 Pro, this really is one of the most powerful chip families in the sort of AI PC class. But look, for business grade applications, I really would recommend using this family of chips uh, to get the best performance as well as efficiency. What I really love is that the EliteBook X is just as powerful unplugged as it is plugged in. While you can set different performance modes or balanced or battery saving modes, depending on what you wanna do. Uh, I usually set mine in full performance mode because I can take advantage of the really large battery. It's about 74 and a half uh, kilowatt hours, which gives you a lot of time, especially when you're in that full performance mode. Plus you can actually fast charge it up to about 50% of the battery in 30 minutes with the 100 watt charger. But in addition to that, um, with the AMD Ryzen AI7 Pro, because it has a, a, a power rating of about 40 watts unplugged, you really can get a lot done. And with me and my video editing, especially high resolution footage, uh, it doesn't struggle or stutter when I'm in an unplugged mode. In addition to that, you just don't hear those fans very often uh, because uh, with my older laptop, the moment I started doing video editing, it started to blow the fans to keep the system cool. So there's not a lot of excess heat generated and that's great because you don't have that excess fan noise. And in addition to that, of course, you get longer battery life. So when you're tucking this under your arm, you really want something with a very powerful and efficient processor for business class applications. The EliteBook X is more than a traveling companion for me. It's, it's like a portable office. Um, so in terms of carrying it around, um, it weighs about 1.49 kilograms, which is pretty good considering all that it has packed inside of it. Uh, it closes up to be quite slim too. It's about 1.3 centimeters at, at its thickest point and just under a centimeter at its thinnest point. Um, look, I do a lot of video conferencing as well uh, to stay in touch with my team as well as clients. And you really need a professional setup here. And what I have is a, there's a five megapixel poly camera pro that handles all of the vision. And it's great too, because it uses on device AI to, so it keeps you in the frame uh, and tracks the camera view around to keep you centered. Uh, there's also a few effects like a spotlight mode as well as a blurring your background. So it's great that that's taken care of. In addition, on the sound side, it has dual mics, it has discrete amplifiers, and Polysound also has uh, a quad stereo setup. So it sounds really good when you're listening to a movie or something like that, but also those mics are really important to pick up sound. But there's also uh, noise cancellation that happens in the background too, thanks to AI processing. So so you really have that professional look and feel, which is really important. 
Well, I have really enjoyed my time with the HP EliteBook X. Look, it really is built for the modern business professional. And really that's one that just has to have a no compromise machine, one that can do so many tasks at once. And for me, it's gotta be my desktop machine. It's gotta be my on the go machine. It's gotta be my AI machine, plus so much more. And look, I really think that the design, the great screen, the capabilities, and of course the unplugged performance really do knock it out of the park for me. And look, as a business user, I think that this is gonna be a great option for you as well. I'm Val Quinn. Thanks for your company exploring HP's EliteBook X G1A 14 AI with me. And if you want more great tech content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video.